<laughs> so this is a video? <laughs> Hi everybody, we are actually, where are we Andy? Uh, we are in a small closet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Within the J. Rieger & Co. distillery here in Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah, we're in a distillery. We have whiskey, we have vodka, we have gin, and it is amazing. I mean, Cassie. Awesome. So good. Oh, so good. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> that is their motto. It's on the bottle, and it's on the building. I mean, it's the motto, oh, so good. And. This glass here has some of the whiskey. Tell everybody what is so special about this whiskey. So this whiskey dates back to the 1880s and 1890s in terms of a style. Uh, it's actually a blend of two different whiskeys that are ranging between four and 11 years old, along with sherry wine we've actually imported from Spain. And the concept of adding sherry dates back to the 1880s and 1890s when whiskey was actually underage, uh, the production techniques weren't quite as good as we have today, and so whiskey as a whole was very raw, uh, very difficult to drink by itself. And the immigrants in the United States at that time were accustomed to drinking sherry wine very frequently every single night, as most of them came from Europe at that time. And they decided to start adding sherry to their whiskey. And when they did that, then producers got smart and said, why don't we just add sherry to the bottling tank before we put the whiskey in bottles? So that's where it all came from uh, in 1897 with the Bottle and Bond Act, and people started to then age their whiskeys for an extended period of time. That practice of adding sherry went away. And so here we are resurrecting this old brand from the 1880s, and we're bringing back an old style of whiskey as well. And Andy, you're resurrecting your family business as well, really. It's, it's been fun to actually do something that was real, was tangible, uh, something that was authentic, and being able to have such a great base to start with, something that only died because of the government's hand of prohibition, has been something more than special to me, uh, my wife, and our entire team here at J. Rieger & Co. Which is super exciting, and to the point where Andy Rieger was just one of the finalists in the Ernest Young Entrepreneurial... Uh, something like that. Yeah. So, uh, but he's a finalist in that. <laughs> Drink with me. This is what he does to you. <laughs> so anyway, I am serious when I say if you even think that you like whiskey, you want to try the Rieger whiskey, okay? And the vodka and the gin were equally, I mean, not for anything, but we just tasted the vodka and the gin warm, without ice, without any juice or anything on the side. And it was amazingly good. I'm not just saying that. No, it was really good. All of it. Delicious. Cassie is very truthful because Cassie just finished all of them. Whatever was left in the glass, she tried to sip and then just down the hatch. I was just going to say that Cassie's actually giving me the side glance saying, Are you drinking all that? Are you saving it for me? Are you saving it for me? Are you ready? That was a large sip. I'm in a hurry. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Anyway, check it out. Andy, thank you so much. For, you have a killer high five. Thank you for hanging out with us in your conference room. Well, thanks for having us.